feeling kind of cute today. Yeah. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to another video on the Enchanted Vasum. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or wishy oriented, vegan taste test, craft with me videos, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my fellow spooky spoonies. Today's video, friends, is very long overdue. I'm doing another one of my spooky small business shout out videos. I typically try to do these monthly, but the past couple of months have kind of gotten away from me because I've ordered quite a bit. My birthday was in August, so like between July and like September, I had ordered a decent amount of things and they all just kind of kept coming and I was like, well, let me wait for the next one. Let me wait for the next one. And uh, here we are at September. I didn't do one for August because I kept waiting for things. I still have a couple more things coming. I'll just, I'll do that for our October haul. I figure we'll do, <laughs> we'll go ahead and do like a combo August, September slash end of July kind of spooky small business haul. A couple of the first things are not from spooky small businesses, but they are small businesses. So I still wanted to give them a shout out and share them with you guys because I think a lot of you guys would really enjoy them. My makeup for one, if you guys can see, I'm not wearing my glasses right now just because I really wanted to feature this eyeshadow look. I don't know if you guys can see. <laughs> it is this beautiful purple like indigo eyeshadow look and I did it using the Michaela part two palette. I started following Michaela on TikTok. I don't know, maybe like four or five months ago. I know she's been around for like ever, it seems like, and I just am slow on the uptake. And then I found her and I was like, first of all, your looks are amazing. Second of all, I just love her personality and her heart. And she's just so like true and honest to herself. I really enjoyed it. And I saw she's coming out with another palette. I was like, well, let me look at it in the colors, you guys. Oh, it's like a jewel tone lover's dream. Let me show you. And the shimmers are just, ah, they're, they're incredible. Here is the palette. I know the lighting is kind of blowing it out a little. It's a little bit deeper than it actually is showing up on camera. You can see I used a good bit of both of these shimmers, but it is just, oh my God. It's absolutely incredible. I really, really love it. I don't know if it's still available or if it's sold out, but I will link it in the description. All of the items I show you guys, I will link the companies if they have like a website or if they have an Etsy shop, I will link that. I will try and link their Instagram and I will link the actual items that I get as well. So that way you guys can follow them and also check out <laughs> Dottie's playing behind me. So if you hear a little ball rolling around, girl's going crazy with her little ping pong ball. <laughs> I, like I said, I'll link everything in the description below, but this, I'm really impressed. Like I love makeup. You guys may not know that about me, but I, I love makeup. I love playing like eyeshadow palettes are like my addiction. I have so many. And so when I saw this, I was like, yes, please. And this has honestly been my go-to for the last few looks like that green look I did that you guys really liked for my Killstar haul video. I used this, I used this for the purple indigo. I'm just, I'm so excited. I think for fall, Honestly, for a year round for me, I could see me using this because I love these kind of shades. I love very deep jewel tone shades. So I'm really, really excited about this. I also did get her Michaela Pat too. I love, I love a Boston accent. It's just, oh, uh, it's everything. But I got her highlighter palette and this, you guys, I'm very, very impressed. I love, I love a highlight. I don't know if you can really tell it's not coming up. Yeah, you see a little bit of like the purpley blue. I love like a blinding highlight. I know apparently it's not style anymore. People do like natural looks. Screw that, man. I want to look like a freaking fairy just glowing about. Here is her highlighter palette. Oh, it's definitely not showing up, but this one is very like bluish purple is what I'm wearing. This one has a very like green tone shift. And this one is like a goldish, more bronzy one. I personally probably won't wear it because I think it may be a little bit dark for me. Also, I don't tend to wear like bronzier looks. I tend to wear more cool tone looks, but like the green highlighter is, oh my gosh. And this purpley blue one is so, so good. I love how soft they are. And they're like shimmery without being glittery. A lot of highlighters can be very glittery. This is not, it's just very like, shimmery it's just like a sheen of like this like purpley blue kind of duochrome highlighter i love 100 percent. this has like been my go-to highlighter palette lately so check this out as well the other like non-spooky thing i wanted to show you guys um is from kimchi chic beauty 
I love kimchi. She's like one of my favorite like drag queens. Such a fun personality and her makeup skills are out of this world. I've gotten a couple things from her makeup company before. I think it was like one of her highlighter palettes and I think maybe it was like her fun mirror. She has a mirror that like lights up so when you use it you have a light on your mirror. I took that with me honestly for camping. I mean I wasn't doing makeup when I was camping but like to have you know a mirror to be able to brush my hair and make sure I don't look like too crazy is really really nice but i got a couple things let me open it up for you guys so excited for these so i got a couple things kimchi collaborated with trixie oh my gosh you know i love me some trixie mattel they collaborated and they have this cute it's called the bff forever collab it's adorable and i got first of all packaging hello i mean trixie kimchi this is gorgeous this is the highlighter palette they did. I'm addicted to highlighter as well. So I was like, oh, a new highlighter? Yes, please. The component is this adorable heart. Has Kimchi and Trixie's name on it right there. And then you open it. And oh, look at this highlighter. So it's got two different highlighters in it. It's got this one right here. I think is their pearlescent one that she's released before. This is the one I think I have like a full compact of. And then this is the other one that they just came out with. Oh, it's so soft and beautiful. These, they're just, oh my gosh. Oh, it's so, so beautiful. These are a little bit more glittery. I say I'm not mad at it because it's so beautiful and soft and the texture is amazing. So I love it. And then I got two of the lips, law lips, kind of like LOL, but with lips in it. I will say I'm typically not one for like bullet lipstick just because it doesn't stay on as long. I really like a more liquid matte kind of lipstick, but these were such cool colors that I thought they'd be really fun to have. I got Gingerbread and Geisha. Maybe one is Trixie's and one is Kimchi's. They each had like a couple shades that they did for them. Again, the packaging, look at this. It has like them on it, but you open it and it's like a little mirror. I mean, this has, the plastic on it so I don't want to blind you guys but there's a little mirror on this I thought that was so inventive you what you do is you push this it pops out oh and then this one is this like orangey brown oh my gosh again this one was gingerbread that'd be so cool for fall oh and this is a more a little bit deeper like red a little reddish brown but like more red and this one is geisha I love these. I just thought they were so fun. I love kimchi stuff. Her, her prices are incredible for her products. Highly, highly recommend checking them out, especially if you're, even if you're on like a budget, you can find something you like and you're gonna love the quality you get. So the next items I wanted to show are from a company called Sandstar Art. They are actually located in the UK and I found them on Etsy. Some of the cutest like spooky art and so I was like, I've got to try this out because she offers her art with the matting and I was like, that makes it really fancy and nice already. So I got three different prints. I went ahead and framed them. I'm hoping there isn't too much of a glare, but look at this bat with like mushrooms and flowers and then a jack-o'-lantern. I actually got this to like maybe go up my little gallery wall right here as just like a year round cute bat thing because it has like... It's not super, I mean, besides the jack lantern, it's not really like fall. It looks kind of even spring and summer with the mushrooms. So I thought this was super cute. Then I bought two things I thought I'd maybe put on the mantle this year because I'm doing kind of like, I don't know, a cute traditional retro style. So there's this ghost on like a jack in the box kind of thing with the broom, these spider webs jack lantern i just love all these little details it's just so so cute again i would they have an option to get just the print but I, or the print with the matting i went ahead and got the matting because again all you had to do was add it to some frames and it looks super super nice and then the third one i got look at this the cat jack lantern and ghost on the jack o lantern i mean this is just so cute and retro kind of style very like vintagey cutesy but spooky Halloween. So I thought this would go really well with my man. I did also buy some stickers from her shop, but I have lost them. I got this package towards like the end of July 
and I have not been able to find them since then. I had them when I un opened it. I was like, oh my gosh, these are adorable. I even bought some stickers for Claire to give her and I've lost those. So I'm really hoping I didn't like throw it away with the packaging. I can't find it. So who knows? I may like reorder them because they were really, really adorable. She had like little packs. I'll try to maybe put a picture here. She had a pack of vintage retro kind of jack-o'-lantern people and like ghosts and they were so cute and there was another one that had like two jack-o'-lantern ladies and like these cute very like 50s vintage dresses having tea that was so so precious i just love the designs and i love the style and she was really really sweet when i had some questions definitely check them out i highly recommend this amazing quality and really really cute okay next thing i wanted to show is from jade the libra her company ho7s I was able to get her Headless Horseman shirt. Oh my gosh, I hope I can show, you see all this? It's like the Headless Horseman in this like graveyard. It's so freaking cute. And then the arms have these like jack-o'-lanterns down it. I don't know if you can see that detail. And then my back, there's more. It's not just like, oh, one side printed. No, it's double-sided. It has this quote on it. And it's just, oh my gosh, with the bats. And it's like almost like storybook page kind of thing. It's really, really cute. I'm so, so excited. I also end up buying the short sleeve version of it. So I'm waiting for that to come in because I need to be able to wear this design year round. But I love Jade and Dallas and like their designs and, and the quality of the shirts are so, so good. I've gotten, I think nearly every single one she's released just because the quality of the shirts is so, so good, especially their long sleeves are incredibly comfortable. And I usually get them a little bit oversized because this with some leggings and like boots, or if I'm at home, just leggings and cozy socks. And this is like perfect winter and fall clothing. Oh my gosh, the design, it's everything. Follow her on YouTube, duh, because she'll be posting whenever she does new designs and when they're released. Also, if you feel like you've tried to get stuff from her and you've missed out in the past, become a member on her channel. Not sponsored, I'm just a member on her channel and I love it because when you're a member, you get early access to any merch releases. That's how I've been able to get all of these and never had to worry about them selling out on me because members get usually like a few days early access before just the general population. And it's like $1.99 or $2.99 a month to be a member and you get all sorts of extras. So totally worth it if you aren't already. Next thing I got, I'm so excited because I missed out on this last year. I got the spooky little Halloween magazine. This is from Miranda. She is a blogger. She amazing. If you're not following her on Instagram, follow her on Instagram. Super cute, but she puts out a magazine. This is the second one. I missed last year's, but this is the second year of doing it. And it goes over just different things. So there's like recipe inspos, craft ideas, all sorts of really fun things. Spooky movie night. I mean, pop culture costumes. There's so many, many cute things. 31 days Halloween. She has a whole calendar for October of like different things you could do to help celebrate the holiday. And I love all her different ideas and it's just fun to have like a full magazine all about Halloween. I'm, I'm in love with it. I also did buy one of her stickers. She's a ghosty gal. If you haven't seen her before, the girl loves her ghost and it's just so precious. So she made a sticker that's like her with the glasses because she has pink glasses. I think they're pink glasses. I know she has pink hair, but she wears like big cat eye glasses. I just, I love it. I thought this was so precious. I'm gonna probably try finding somewhere on my laptop to fit this, but thought this was really, really cute. Definitely check them out. I don't know if she still has copies available for this year, but definitely follow her on Instagram. I'm sure when she puts one out for next year, that way you'll be able to grab one. Between now and then, oh my gosh, girl's always putting out really cute ideas again for crafts or costumes or all sorts of different things. So check her stuff out. Next things I wanna show, there's a company called theopencrypt.com. If, if you're a makeup gal like me, there's a girl called Bridget. I think her channel is called Spooky Bridget now or Bridget Turco. I can't remember what she changed it to. It used to be porcelain, but I'll link it down below in the description. But she also has a small business called theopencrypt.com. And she has lots of really cool, cute and spooky inspired items. So I got a couple different things. First couple things are 
these little tiny like makeup bags or they're great honestly throw this in your purse and put like feminine products if you need it or if you wanted to just keep a couple of makeup items but not have them scattered about in your purse this is a great idea but i got this first one that says spooky babe with all of these bats in purple because you know and it's double-sided which i thought was really cool because a lot of things usually aren't double-sided like that the other one i got true crime and coffee again double-sided i thought this was really cool this is a gift for someone but it, i just want to share with you guys because i thought this was super super cute so i'm sure there's some true crime junkies out there i know you guys are gonna love that kind of thing and again her prices are really really good like insanely to the point where i'm like how are you making money on this i'm not mad at it because i mean we get stuff at a great price but i'm also like bridget please don't sell yourself short next item i thought was super cool this is actually a little sleeve to hold your chapstick and you have it on a keychain and of course i got a little spider web one i thought this was cool i you don't really see things like this this is different for me i've never seen a little sleeve for chapstick to be able to keep it on your keys because I try to keep chapstick with me and then I end up putting it in a pocket or something somewhere in some jacket or jeans and then it gets lost into the abyss of my laundry and then I'll find it in like a month once I finally wash said items. I thought this was so cool and it's a great way to keep track of things. Next thing I got, cause I'm gonna keep this on my little movie shelf. It is this, it's like a rubber coaster. So you could get multiple of these and use them as your coasters, but I just want to use it as decoration. But it is this Miss Argentina with the little, our sand snake and it says accidents happen. It has the handbook. I just thought this was so cute. Cause it's like the sand snake, but it's like, I don't know, a little floaty thing for her. <laughs> I thought this was cool. I'm gonna put this on my little movie shelf. I have like all my Funko Pops. All my little Sam from Trick or Treat. I have the Beetlejuice sign on the wall. So I thought this would be really cute. What a fun way to add some Miss Argentina energy to it. So this is fun. I also bought some little coaster things for our car. You see this design, you'll just laugh because it's very me. So it's like these very colorful neon bats and moons and stars. It's like celestial bass <laughs> just, these are so cute and i got two of them so I have a little set for our uh, our little cup holders in the car i thought they were super fun i also bought a sticker because i just love the saying it says holographic for one but it says sweet and spooky i mean if this isn't just me to a t i don't know but look <sighs> so shimmery it's so fun i love it and then she actually threw in some extra stickers she threw a Pennywise sticker in there and then a <laughs> good old Freddy like crawl into you kind of sticker so I thought those were cool and everything was in these like or at least the stickers and the jewelry item I'm about to show you was in this really cute like little mesh bag with holographic moons and stars I love the attention to detail when it comes to packaging and then I got these earrings they're like these little television sets with ghosts that say, let's get spooky. I mean, this is just so freaking adorable. And they're double-sided. Bridget really pays attention to details. And I love that because she's a spooky gal herself. She does makeup. She, like, this is her life and her aesthetic. She really pays attention to things she would want as well. And her ear hooks are, they're nickel free. So they're like really allergen friendly. If you, I know sometimes earrings can kind of make your ears itch. If you don't, if you have a nickel allergy and you get like cheaper hooks, but she makes sure to put some that are nickel free, which I really do appreciate. And then the last thing I got from her, and it was the reason I initially started this order is this spiderweb necklace hook. Oh my gosh. So it's this thing, it goes, you know, you nail it into the wall and then there's all these little hooks on it to hang necklaces from. I actually have the like web, spider web brief thing from Michaels that they've had the past couple years and I'm using it to hold earrings. And so when I saw she had this for necklaces, I was like, this is the perfect combination to complete, not even complete, to just add to the spookiness of my jewelry. I thought this was super, super cool. And what's awesome about it is her husband actually has like a 3D printer. So they print these at their house. Like they take the time to do all of this by hand, which I think is absolutely amazing. Like whenever there's things she needs to heat press, like she does all of this at her house. It's absolutely incredible the effort that goes into it, especially considering the prices. I thought this was super cool and really different. I'm very, very impressed by this. And it came with like little nails to put it into the wall. So love. Only a couple more left. So it's not 
as long as I thought it was gonna be, which is good, but it's still probably longer than you guys expected. This next thing is from Frightful Findings. I have ordered things from them in the past. These, the earrings I'm wearing today, actually this little, oh, come on now. These little glittery bats I got from her last year and I, love them they're one of my favorite bat earrings when i saw some of the stuff she was doing this year i was like yes please i do need those first of all Lindsay, you're like the sweetest girl i i you're just so kind i love she puts all these fun little extras there's like oh, it's blue raspberry airhead there's like some extra cute little spooky stickers she always puts extras into every single one of her orders spider ring you know what She's just so sweet and really thinks about the details. I've talked about that before in the past with her orders because it's just so, so freaking adorable. I ordered three pairs from her. She sent an extra pair. She did last time too, which was so unexpected. And this time as well, she was like, oh, I know it's your birthday coming up, which Lindsay, that's just the sweetest thing that you like knew that and paid attention to that kind of stuff because, oh my gosh. So she sent me these as like a little birthday gift is these like mickey ghosts oh my gosh and they're glittery all of her stuff is resin and like a lot of it has glitter in it so it makes it super shimmery and she does all this again at her house like pours the molds does the fun designs like that's a lot of work i've done resin work before and stuff for my se shop and i can tell you that stuff takes a little while because you have to work wait for it to set and then you have to sand out the edges and then you have to like shine it and like it can be a lot of effort so giving a free item is really really sweet so thank you Lindsay I absolutely love it I will say look all every single one is these really really adorable spiderweb bags oh my god I love these I will be reusing these one way or the other because I love this print let me show you the pair actually there's a couple pairs that initially got me to like, oh my gosh, I need to place an order like ASAP. These ghost earrings with little purple bats on them and their shimmery is so, so freaking adorable. And she has these ghost earrings with, I think there's another that has candy corns. And then there's a third print. I can't remember quite what it is, but of course bats. And then it was purple. I was like, girl, you're speaking my language. As someone who doesn't have a ton of space from like the lobe to the to the shoulder neck area like I tend to wear not super super long earrings because then they like hit me and I feel, <laughs> I feel like they just don't look right on me so I love her stuff because it is like a nice statement piece but they're like not so big that like you know I'm smacking myself you know so these are adorable oh my gosh these look amazing it's actually the first time I've taken these out and looked at these in person is the handbook for recently deceased earrings. Look at these, like the detail on this, the print, like this looks really, really nice. Wear a tiny little handbook. And then this third pair is already off the little board. I think I threw the board away already actually because I've already, I wore this pair like not long after I got this in the mail. I went ahead and was just like, yep, wearing those. It is this set of boo earrings. If you are like a 90s, well, born in the 80s, but like grew up in the 90s, 2000s, you probably play Mario Kart, Mario, all those kind of things. And you probably know boo, I mean, and it's like so glittery. And I had gotten a shirt sometime in August that had boo on it. And then so I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect to go with these earrings. These are just so perfect, Lindsay. I absolutely adore it. So again, definitely check out her page. Her stuff is amazing. It does take a little while. Like when you order it, it says there's like a four to six week waiting period, but it's because she makes them all to order and by hand herself. So if it's something you need like ASAP, maybe not the best, but if you can wait a little while, it's totally worth it. And her stuff is absolutely adorable. And again, very, very good quality. Like I could tell you like resin stuff, sanding down the edges and making this all smooth and nice like this, it takes some effort. And so I'm really, I just, I love the quality. It's so, so nice. So highly recommend her stuff. Okay, last item. This is from M and Sprout. I actually haven't even opened it up yet. But I, I know it's in here. I've, I've actually made another order to Evan Sprout since this because she finally got her cauldron dress back in stock. So I'm sure I will do that as part of my October spooky small business haul. But I wanted to go ahead and show you guys this. And I'll have to wait another month <laughs> for to continue waiting for things. So 
Let me open this up. You guys, oh my gosh. I got a pair of her biker shorts, I got a pair of leggings, and then I got some other things that just might make you guys laugh, but honestly, they make me smile, so it's whatever. First thing I got, oh, this is a very similar print to the dress I said I was waiting for. What is these biker shorts with cauldrons that have plants and like, oh, like almost like little ferns. I love ferns. I always said, honestly, if I had to pick a plant, I wanted to be like, I don't know, I was a plant. It would either be ferns or sunflowers. So um, this is perfection, but is this really, really pretty, almost like sage green color and just the print, little mushrooms. I didn't realize there was mushrooms. I love mushrooms. <laughs> these are so cute and it's a really, really nice length. I'm not trying these on. Let me see what size I got. I got a large in these because I've gotten a large and a pair of her leggings before. It's the same exact material except for it's just shorts instead. But I love these. It's super, super soft material. 92% polyester, 8% spandex. So you know we got some stretch, which I love. I thought these would be really cute under like a black dress or something. And like these are a little bit longer than the dress. It would just be really, really cute because I love to wear shorts and stuff or leggings or stuff under dresses just to help the old, the chub rub. So <laughs> I thought these would be great for it. But also, you know, should I ever get the motivation to exercise, these would be great too. <laughs> Next things I got were some leggings. I think it's because these were either on sale or clearance or something, but she has these cute like Mothman kind of leggings. Ugh. It's this design all the way down. I have some um, cute little bat leggings from her. And so this is basically the same exact material, but just with the little moth characters. And again, this print, is just absolutely adorable. It's like spooky cute, which is my whole vibe. I got these in a large as well. So, um, cause I think that's usually what I tend to wear in like her leggings and stuff. Pajamas, I think I usually wear like a large or so. The dress, I think, I might have gotten a large. I'll let you know when I get that next month. These are so cute. I'm really, really excited to wear these. Again, this with like, I don't know, black dress or something with some boots, like fall and winter. This is gonna be such a vibe and I'm so excited. Give me one second. I'm gonna go grab something that goes with these. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so I have um, these lavender Crocs that I've had. I don't know, a couple years now. I really like them. They're great for around the house or if I'm just like stepping outside to grab the mail or walk around the garden. They're really nice and easy on my feet. So say what you want, but they're comfortable. I love them and lavender because purple is my color. And I saw these on her website. I about died. <laughs> Let me get them out of the little plastic. So she has these little sets of croc, I don't know what they're called, like little things you can put on your croc to decorate them, but they're bats. Do you see this? So it was a set of three. So there's two of the little black ones and one of the like light pink ones. I thought these were so cute. I have zero idea how to put this kind of stuff on. Oh, does it just stretch onto it? Let me, give me a second. I'm gonna try putting these on the Crocs. I'll show you how they look. Guys, oh my freaking gosh. Look at these. So there's actually, there's a black one and then there's gray. And then there's like the light pink. These are so freaking adorable. Oh my gosh. I never really thought about getting the little, whatever these called, croc button things. Because I was like, oh, why am I decorating something I'm just wearing around the house? But now I kind of want to wear these like outside the house and be like, yeah, I'm wearing crocs. And yes, they have little bats on them. What now? This is a whole vibe, y'all. I'm I'm loving it. She has a whole lot of other like crock buttons, whatever they're called. She has a lot of different little designs, so definitely check them out. I love Emin Sprout. I can't remember the gal's name. Maybe it's Lindsay as well. Or two Lindsays. I can't remember her name, but she's really, really sweet. So if you ever have any questions, you can always message her. Her designs are just so freaking adorable. And the quality of her stuff is also really, really nice too. Like her leggings and stuff, they're a little bit more expensive, but it's so, so worth it because again, the quality is amazing. And it's stuff that like I want to wear. Whereas I have stuff that like looks cute, but I'm like, it's not super comfortable or I'm gonna, you know, 
could be a better texture material and so then I don't wear it it just sits in my closet whereas this stuff I'm like is it clean can I wear it now <laughs> because oh it's just so comfortable and I can look cute while being comfortable which is what we all want right I think that is everything I'm pretty sure, I know this is a longer video, but like I said, this is like two months worth of spooky small business stuff. So, and you know, next month we'll have some more. Cause like I said, I know there's at least two or three things on the way as well. So I'm really excited to show those with you guys. But yeah, if you're interested in any of these things, definitely check the description. Like I said, I'll have the links to either the website or Etsy, however they're selling their shop. I will also have a link to like their Instagram if they have some social media. And I will have links to each of the individual items as well. So you guys can check those items specifically. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please do give me a big thumbs up. Also, if you aren't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel and make sure you hit the bell so you're notified every single time I upload. I do try to do at least two videos a week, but as we're getting ready for Vlogtober, I'm so, so excited for that. I'm definitely going to try and do a little bit more. I don't know that I'll be able to do every single day because my body can't handle every single day, but I'll probably try and do more like three to four videos a week, just depending on what it is I have to share with you guys. There'll definitely be some more, probably more makeup, a lot more cooking, decorating, of course, because you know it's time for that. If there's any ideas or things you would love to see me do, or try out during Vlogtober, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to know what you guys are interested in seeing. Also, I do have a Patreon, so if you're interested in supporting the channel further, um, the link for that will be in the description. You can check that out, see the different tiers I have, different ways to support the channel, and what you get for being a Patreon. You do get videos ahead of time of everybody else, and certain tiers also get special videos for them, or, um, live chats. Everybody gets a link to my, or discount to my Etsy shop, so definitely check that out. If you're interested in supporting the channel further, I would always appreciate it. But thank you guys so much for all of your love. I hope you're doing wonderful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.